Actress Arlene Golanka passed away on May 31, 2021, after a long battle with Alzheimer's disease. She was 85 years old. She was perhaps best known for her roles as Millie Hutchins on The Andy Griffith Show and Millie Swanson on Mayberry RFD. But her career consisted of work on stage, in TV shows, and movies. She was a life member of the Actors Studio, one of the country's most prestigious acting schools. She began her career in her early teens and continued to act well into her 60s. Her remarkable career is a great inspiration to any aspiring actor. Let's look back at Arlene Galanka's incredible life and career. Arlene was born January 23, 1936 in Chicago. She was of Polish descent and didn't come from a showbiz family. Nevertheless, she realized early on she was destined to make her name in the industry. After acting in school plays and working as a waitress on the side, she began working professionally as an actress by joining a summer stock troupe. Enamored of the stage, she studied her craft at the Goodman Theater in Chicago. She later moved to New York City and continued to study acting from some of the country's most prestigious acting coaches, including Lee Strasberg, Uta Hagen, and Sanford Meisner. She also joined the Actors Studio and was a life member of the school. It was in New York where she began acting in prominent plays with prominent cast members. Her first major production was in The Night Circus alongside Ben Gazzara. The play was originally performed at the Schubert Theater in New Haven, Connecticut. It eventually moved to Broadway, though it only ran for a few performances. Nevertheless, this brought many more opportunities to Arlene to work on the stage. She appeared in the play Take Me Along, which ran for 448 performances over one year. Her fellow cast members included Walter Pidgeon, Robert Morse, and Jackie Gleason. In the early 60s, she appeared in Come Blow Your Horn, which was Neil Simon's first Broadway play. She also appeared in the first stage adaptation of Ken Kesey's novel One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest alongside Kirk Douglas. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you give it a like and subscribe to Fact First if you haven't already. And stick around for more about Arlene Galanka's life and career. Arlene had begun playing bit parts in TV shows in tandem to her stage career. Her early TV appearances included roles in the United States Steel Hour, Car 54 Where Are You, and The Big Valley. But her big TV break came when she received a recurring role in The Andy Griffith Show. The show was already one of the country's most popular sitcoms, entering its eighth season. Arlene played the role of Millie Hutchins, who worked in the Mayberry Bakery and was easily one of the most likable characters on the show. The happy-go-lucky Millie was engaged to the country clerk Howard Sprague. Though she appeared so late in the show, there was still something about Arlene's performance that captivated audiences. She managed to leave a great impression, as much as some of her other co-stars who'd been on the show much longer. After The Andy Griffith Show came to an end, its spin-off show was Mayberry RFD. Arlene appeared in the show once again as Millie, though this time her character was known as Millie Swanson and her love interest was Sam Jones. Once again, Millie was one of the most beloved characters on the show. It was these two roles that catapulted Arlene Galanka to stardom in television. She appeared as Millie in Mayberry RFD for all three seasons. Arlene began her film career around the same time she began her TV career. This included roles such as Lois in Diary of a Bachelor, Harriet in Harvey Middleman, and Honeysuckle Rose in Penelope. She also starred in Hang 'em High alongside Clint Eastwood in 1968, around the same time she landed her role in The Andy Griffith Show. She went on to have bit parts and supporting roles in popular TV shows like Barnaby Jones, The Mary Tyler Moore Show, and M.A.S.H. She also got more film roles in the late 70s, appearing in Airport 77 and The In-Laws alongside Peter Falk. She appeared in many hit comedies such as The Last Married Couple in America and My Tutor. She also ventured outside of screen and stage acting and was part of a popular comedy album called You Don't Have to Be Jewish. It was written by George Foster and Bob Booker. It was a compilation of skits and jokes in which Arlene Galanka performed alongside many popular comic performers, including Betty Walker, Jack Guilford, and Joe Silver. When the sequel was released, Arlene was unable to reprise her work as she'd now become busy with television and film. Instead, she convinced her former roommate and prominent actress Valerie Harper to join the cast. It was actually Arlene who convinced Valerie to pursue a career in acting altogether. The two had appeared together in the play Take Me Along, and Arlene had a few guest appearances on The Mary Tyler Moore Show, in which Valerie Harper had a regular role. Arlene had a reputation for helping others and being a joy to work with. 
She also displayed a confidence that can be rare among certain entertainers, who are often quite insecure. Arlene's Polish surname, Golanka, translates to pig's foot. With this unusual name, one could expect she was pressured to adopt a stage name to succeed. She was asked about it in 1969. Her response was, quote, I began to get recognition in the days when we had stars with names like Marlon Brando, Tab Hunter, Rory Calhoun, Rip Torn, and Rock Hudson. I just thought it would be nice to have an Arlene Golanka in there. And that name won't be forgotten anytime soon. But despite her prolific career, we'll probably always remember her as Millie. We first see Millie in the episode Howard's Main Event in the eighth season of The Andy Griffith Show. It's here we see her alongside Howard Sprague, who takes a shining to her. Millie is the girl who works in the local bakery, and although the season was filmed in the 60s, she was the epitome of the ideal woman we associate with 1950s American TV. She had the blonde hair and bubbly demeanor considered attractive during the golden age of Hollywood. Millie could have easily given Marilyn Monroe a run for her money. And no one was better at playing Millie than Arlene Galanka. But her role on Mayberry RFD and The Andy Griffith Show wasn't the only thing Arlene Galanka had fond memories of. It was on Mayberry RFD that she met actor Larry Delaney, who appeared on an episode called Andy's Baby. Although he only appeared in one episode, he remained in Arlene's life much longer. They got married Valentine's Day 1969 and remained married until his death in 2015. Arlene continued her acting career well into her late 60s. Her later career focused mostly on TV roles. Her final role was Annette in the episode Inescapable of the popular sitcom The King of Queens. In her final years, she sadly succumbed to Alzheimer's disease, and she spent her later years in a memory care facility. She died on May 31, 2021, at the age of 85. Now it's time to hear from you. What do you think about Arlene Galanka's remarkable career? Do you think she'll serve as an inspiration for aspiring actors? Let us know what you think in the comments section. And be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.